Yo, what is up, dudes and dudettes? Your friendly neighbor Jack's Blade is back, and today I wanted to talk to you about a series that I feel needs more love. Even though I'm seeing a lot of people just praise it, I'm not seeing enough people praise it, and I need more people to just like get on this hype train that is known as Primal. For Baki fans, just imagine Pickle from Baki had his own series. For people who don't know who Pickle is, don't worry, you will. But the show is from the genius, the talented, the goat himself, Gendy Tartakovsky. So that name may seem familiar to a lot of y'all out there because that is the man who created Dexter's Laboratory, uh, Samurai Jack, my personal favorite thing from Star Wars ever, Star Wars Clone Wars 2003, uh, freaking um, Symbiotic Titan. He even designed uh, Hotel Transylvania. He did that entire thing. So, I mean, that fell off a little bit, but at least they gave us Mavis, am I right? And then, like, of course, he's doing this right now, Primal. And my god, I don't think he's ever missed. I really don't think Gendy has ever missed. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. So what's it about and what does it have to do with functional fitness and all this stuff that I was talking about? Well, I'm about to get into that. So the show follows this caveman named Spear and we see him just going through his life, like, you know, doing his hunting, his daily stuff with his family and horrific things happen. And then he meets this T-Rex who's going around her day-to-day -day life, enjoying stuff with her family. And then horrific things happen. And then they form this bond and they join each other and they just go on all these really, dangerous traumatizing adventures but it is one of the most hype experiences that i could ever get you to see like it's a very beautiful show that does so much just visually this show is like a visual masterpiece like it is honest to god a modern masterpiece with like all this stuff they tell with just visual storytelling it is absolutely beautiful and so you may be wondering well what's spears personality like well spears pretty much you know like a caveman all right you know what is a great headcanon that has been going around is if you remember in dexter's laboratory that episode where the caveman came and like dexter brought him and he was walking around his like lab and stuff like that uh it is such a great thing because gendy created both of these a lot of people have been saying Saying like, oh, that caveman that Dexter brought around was Spear. And so when he goes back to the past, it's just like, oh, it's, it's Spear doing that stuff. So I just, I think that's hilarious. And I made a joke earlier that this is pretty much a pickle from Baki having his own show. And I only mean that in the sense of uh, how formidable and how incredible a fighter uh, Spear actually is. Like when you see him go to town, like it's like, bro, this is, this is some Hulk crazy stuff going on with this character. And I absolutely love seeing him do it. But uh, overall, like as a person, what we get from him is like he's very caring he's very brutal when he needs to be but overall he's very like I, I care about those who are near to me I will justify uh, do whatever I can to protect those I care about I will do this but it is so beautifully done because remember this entire show is barely any dialogue like there is zero dialogue for a couple things is mostly animal noises and sounds but do not let that deter you like there is so much going on action wise that you'd still be able to get so much out of this that's why i love it so much is because like it doesn't waste time with like unnecessary dialogue the majority of the time it is just visual storytelling like if you remember uh, classic Samurai Jack stuff where whenever hey, the episodes would go along, it was just like an art piece for a long period of time because Jack does not talk. Or Jack does not talk much. He, When he's by himself, he does not, you know, go around like saying all these one-liners or talking in his brain and doing all these monologues and stuff like that. He's just very stoic and the action is what sells you on the product and I think that is absolutely masterful. And Fang is honestly one of the best side characters they have in uh, shows like this. Like one of the best T-Rexes I've seen in fiction. Just, I love Fang to death because her personality even though she's you know a T-Rex and stuff like that she is very like cautious and like ever since the traumatic stuff happens to her she becomes you know like I, I don't trust anyone I don't trust this I'm very aggressive like what are you doing here and stuff like that and then it takes her a while to a uh, warm up to you know spear being there for her and stuff like that and so when they start working together and you start seeing them like have this like tag team dynamic of caveman and T-Rex like going at it and like fighting various creatures and other stuff it's just like like absolutely insane and hype and it gets your emotions just flowing and you're just like yeah freaking get it but now let's talk about the functional fitness side of this because there is so much that goes on that just gets me hyped as like a personal trainer and someone who really loves doing functional fitness stuff because when you watch this you go like oh man if I was just doing gym workouts I'd be effed in that scenario oh my god because like Spear even though he's a caveman a primal caveman he does some stuff that like even Captain America would be like what the heck but like overall like his physicality of what he is able to accomplish is just awe-inspiring. There are so many times where it's 
like, oh, he is climbing trees. He's doing this stuff. He's jumping. He's fighting. He's freaking running for like miles on end at a really high pace. And like, there is this one episode specific. I've always talked about it before. Like, I will not say if you, I, I mentioned it in several past videos, but if you haven't seen the show, I'm just going to let you go in fresh. Just once you get to Plague of Madness, if you do not start incorporating cardio into your routine after the episode, then I don't know what's wrong with you. I really do not know what's wrong with you. Like that episode is one episode where I'm like, bruh, I am getting my cardio in as often as possible. I do not care. I do not care. I need to get my cardio in because what happens in the episode Plague of Madness just gets you, oh, it's just like, oh, it's, it's freaky. It's horrifying. But also just the sheer fact of him just like climbing all these trees or like lifting all this like heavy awkward objects. Like he's doing like a lot of strong man and calisthenic functional stuff where it's just like, man, it just makes me just want to do primal stuff. It makes me want to get like active like that. And so, yes, I am doing tough like tunes for Spear. You don't even have to ask for that. Like a bunch of people have been asked about tough like tunes and I've been building them up because I've been anxiously making them better and better. So you don't have to worry about that. Like, yeah, just wait, my friends, just wait, just wait. But I want to specifically do a video on it because like last week they had an episode that just like got me like, okay, I'm, I'm amped up. But then also like, the episodes previous to this, one of the things I really love about this show is you will empathize with characters you thought you never would, all right? There are some characters who do some horrific things and it's just like, you get to the end and it's like, man, I kind of feel bad for this person. Or there's certain things that our main characters do because they need to survive and it's like, bruh, I... Nah, I, I don't know who to root for in this scenario. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely masterful. And the animation, if you love animation, godly animation, just like that type of aesthetic, you will love this show. Like there's so much stuff. There's so many different animals where I'm like, oh God, that is horrific. But then there are other like dinosaurs. Like they make these dinosaurs generally terrifying. Like, you know, we've been desensitized because of, um, you know, Jurassic Park and over the years and like, you know, Camp Cretaceous and all this stuff. And it's absolutely uh, insane to see these dinosaurs in this show just be like horrific. And then they have these certain like silhouetted ones that just do this horrific thing and the way they frame them. But sometimes they also frame uh, Spear and Fang that way. And it's just, it's just beautiful. It's an absolute masterpiece. And if you are not watching this show right now, you are depriving yourselves. I greatly, greatly recommend it. It is only uh, 15 episodes right now and each episode is 20 minutes long and you can watch it all on uh, HBO Max or something or Adult Swim is where it premieres and stuff like that but yeah definitely find a way to watch it if you can because it is an absolute masterpiece and I don't want to talk too in depth because I don't want to give away certain plot points because there are certain things where I'm just like oh dude like if they ever made like an R-rated Hulk movie that would be so freaking dope to see that type of concept going on what they're doing but it's just it is beautiful it is absolutely a masterpiece of a show and I highly highly recommend it to all of you especially people who are interested in fitness stuff because whenever I watch this show I feel like I have to go do something that's not just a, a gym workout like no don't get me wrong like I of course I love gym workouts I love the bro bodybuilding you know Chad type workout and stuff like that but this show specifically every time I watch it I'm just like I need to do my cardio I need to make sure that I can climb like several flights of trees I need to be able to knock this over I need to be able to carry this heavy awkward object you know stuff like that and it just it gets me so hyped to better myself every single time like there's so many workouts like I implement from this just unintentionally so when I do the spear workout is just gonna be oh it's gonna be hype but uh yeah i highly highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it yet but if you have seen it let me know in the comments down what you think it below i'd love to have a conversation with y'all just because i really love talking about sort of stuff like this because it's just like ah man I, I i don't know how many people know about this so it's just like please can we just have a conversation so definitely uh leave a comment down below if you've seen it and if you haven't seen it uh if you go watch it come back to this video and we can start another conversation just because i would love to because this would just get me super super hype but if you made it this far in the video, type in Fang Queen and lets me know who made it this far in the video. And of course, um, I want to say to people out there, my new program, Hybrid Theory, which is actually partially inspired by some of the stuff I've seen in Primal just because it got me hyped, um, is going to be released.
released very, 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 very soon. Like I think we're coming on like the week wrap up because my artist is getting stuff done and all the stuff is getting finished. But for people who don't know, it's my program that comes with, um, I ask bodybuilders, MMA fighters, uh, physical therapists, uh, functional athletes, etc., like a bunch of stuff just to get an overall great hybrid program because I think that would just be the best so people can get overall because I've never liked the whole like, you only have to be a bodybuilder and you have to be small. Like with this, it's gonna be awesome when I release it and I'll definitely do a video when I release it. But uh, yeah, that's coming. But for the meantime, I also have my program, Dumbbells We Should Lift, which is a quick follow along workout, only 20 minutes per day, helpful for great, and great gains, helpful for burning fat, helpful for helping anyone who does not have time throughout their day. Like it's literally 20 minutes follow along workout with me. Check it out, massive discount in the description box down below in the pinned comment down below. You can check that out right now. And also working on the Mega Spider-Man video, working on this uh, Dragon Ball Z video or something like that, that I've, has been a surprise in the works. And then also working on a couple other videos. And then of course, I've been working on tough like the tunes stuff. So again, I'm making them really awesome. So don't forget about that. Uh, but remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, don't forget, moments I hit that bell icon and subscribe. I got a ton more content coming, but uh, yeah, definitely check out Primal. Absolute phenomenal show. Modern masterpiece, not even hyperbole. Check it out.